That's not right, but okay. <laughs> welcome to the podcast, everyone. Nope, you're not welcome. I don't want you here. <laughs> we have an exciting podcast oh, discussion do today. We. Gavin, you missed out on so much last time that we're going to recap it all this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. We can do we can do the cliff notes. Proceed. Uh, yeah. So basically, Max made like an electric skateboard. It didn't go very well. He tried making electric shoes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those didn't work out well. He made an electric chair. That worked pretty good. It's not for electrocuting people. It was not. No, not no, no. I'm thing. going to make an electric chair. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There's just some red right. chair hasn't been made yet. That's he, that's a work. He made an electric bike. That was apparently a genius Big idea. Yeah. And uh, he tried finding uh, motherboards for a thing he needs. Found those, and they right. ended up being the wrong board. So, oh <laughs> uh, no! Uh, the one that I had on my desk the whole time is actually mm. the right board. We also <laughs> talked about how That's great. we also talked about how ChatGPT is basically just a more sophisticated version of Cleverbot, and people just don't see that. They're like, "Oh my gosh, AI is coming to kill us all." They're going to steal your jobs, they're going to steal your wife, they're going to steal your kidneys. And then we brought it all back around near the end by bringing up all milk. Yep. Finally, in a podcast. Yes, indeed we do. And that leads us to today's topic. It completely related. Yeah, <laughs> hemp milk. Yeah, actually I think it was weed milk, but... I think Weed both milk. of them work. It's the same. It's the same thing. Oh, I've seen some of those sodas. Those look interesting. They make weed soda. They do. Uh, <laughs> my mom. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I have not heard of this type of soda. I'm assuming you have to be in a specific state, um, geographically, not state of mind, um, to to order said drink. Well, I don't know. Well, I pro- no probably. I don't know. If it's CBD, you can buy it here, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I think it's legal in this state now. I don't Let think, like, see. actual bud is legal, as far as I know, but I think the subset of CBD and whatnot is. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. You know me. I am I know my, my way around the drugs. I know there's a dispensary, like, a mile away from me. <laughs> I know my way around the drugs. I take vitamin C every morning. Just to start my day off good. I can tell the story because I don't care about them and because it doesn't matter. (laughs) One of my relatives, he worked at the dispensary weed store here in town, and then he quit after like two weeks because there was like some 16-year-old girls that worked there that made fun of him, and he literally like had a mental breakdown over it. Oh, Oh, he's like 30. Jesus like it wasn't like Ibanez. by the sounds of it they weren't even like super mean it's just that literally they just didn't care and like he's just kind of a disaster so he's got thin it. skin yeah literally like it's the funniest shit ever that he was <laughs> bullied out of a job in two weeks by two uncaring 16 year old girls <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Hey, those those sixteen year old girls can be savages. Yes, indeed. Yeah, but <laughs> but you just have to not care as well, and then you're good. <laughs> like he's the kind of guy. Like if you told him, like you know, instead of "Oh, have a good day," if you said "Have a bad day," I don't know if he'd make it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I will now. Thanks. Yep. Let's have a good day. Oh no, you have a terrible day. We don't care about you. Man, okay, well, that's uh, that. It, I, I think about that every now and again, and it cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, oh, I always think about my relatives and how how they get absolutely reprimanded by teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, topic at hand. <laughs> That was That's kind on of adjacent. Topic. That's topic adjacent. That, that was for sure. Hemp milk. I feel like there's no better way to start off 
the hemp milk discussion than the article where I learned hemp milk was a thing. That is a good starting on, point. On GQ.com slash story slash 21st century guide to weird milks, <laughs> between each word, in the hemp milk section, <clears throat> he describes it as the following. Package copy. Natural nutrition dynamo. Lightly sweetened with brown rice syrup. Our hemp oh. is smooth and creamy with a nutty flavor. Color oh. green. Oh. It's fucking green. Reminds <laughs> me of weed, man. <laughs> oh Especially gosh. if you forget to shake it. The top layer of hemp milk looks like some kind of hellish organic version of mellow yellow. Oh, I think we gosh. need rules about what we can legally be called milk. It shouldn't <laughs> just apply to any opaque fluid. This was the least milky of milks. Taste like garbage dumpster runoff. I oh, the, oh. the sweetness only makes it more alarming. In a completely oh, really? expected but uh, in a completely expected but of irony. The brown rice Not syrup blood. that is used for sweetener in some of these milks, <laughs> which some concerned mommies prefer to the much maligned high fructose corn syrup, may contain traces of arsenic. What? So what? If you were hoping your magical weed milk made for a superior health option, I have a bong hit of reality for you, you slacker. Wow! Damn! Absolutely blasted. I mean, yeah. Um, what if just edibles like, are really not that bad? Though? Like, geez, what? I mean, in, in certain quantities, it's fine. The arsenic leads to a hyperlink, and it and it says page not hyperlinks. found. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it led to a link that said dartmouth.edu slash 2012 slash 02 slash organic food sweetener may be hidden source dietary arsenic hyphens between all those words. Oh and it just says page not found. The page you request is not available. You may have used an outdated link or may have typed the address URL incorrectly. Yeah, we're, we're sounding like we're getting into up. virus territory here. <laughs> we're, well, when, when you when you click on an, uh, a link from already uh, a <laughs> very reliable source, <laughs> it reliable. was a link in the word of the article itself. It's not just a random ass. I ad know, but I. I, I you got me wearing oh, about links. links. Normally, when they do those, it's to hey, here's a word you never heard about. Go see what Listen it is. It. That's that's Wikipedia. Wikipedia takes you to other Wikipedia pages with hyperlinks. Uh, conflict of interest. Jeez. <laughs> conflict of interest of what? Wikipedia? Wikipedia linking you to Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> this is slightly biased. I, yeah. Oh, but gosh, yeah. So, so you said it's a green, which makes sense. But then the the top of the it's a green. It, the top of it is is what like a sludge from the sewer? No, it, it tastes, tastes like, like the sludge. Oh, I think it might have also, unless I wasn't paying attention because I I was only half paying attention. <laughs> um, was it? Did it say that like? It, you if you don't like mix it and you let it sit that like kind of like a sludge like film builds up on the top maybe uh, yeah he if, said if it's not shaken yeah 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 the top layer it looks yeah. like a hellish organic version of mellow yellow uh, maybe they use some sort of like hemp oil to like mix it in with the milk and it just doesn't mix right mm, yeah that sounds yeah. nice it sounds like something i probably won't drink well, based off of my experience, yes, I bet it would taste absolutely dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> You're going yes, off yes. your hemp soda. Oh, he's experience. he's going based I do, off I do his kind of milk. Try hemp soda. He's going based off his milk experience. You know, <laughs> uh, storing the the milk jugs for how many months? <laughs> like oh, three I months. Remember that? Yeah, something like that. That I that we got you to sniff. Oh yeah, I, I sniffed the milk for. I what was it like a dollar? Jack gave me a dollar like to, to sniff the milk and then also some sort of barf. monetary amount. <laughs> yeah. 
Austin was Austin was watching from the other side of the house, and he almost vomited watching Riley sit. And just saying, uh, I think Jack offered me ten dollars to drink it, and I said absolutely oh. not. <laughs> oh come on! That yeah. I I didn't need to be sick for the next two days at Gavin's for ten bucks. For ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you think it would be okay if I shared a story about me and Jack? Yeah, go ahead. As it relates, yeah. <laughs> is is it going to be incriminating <laughs> to you or Jack? Um, not if we don't let the viewers know that it is. <laughs> then what's the issue? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so this is well, all allegedly? Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, all allegedly. I'm not going to say it over and over. Um, I got a cookie from a guy. Naturally. A normal was, chocolate chip cookie. Yes, a very normal chocolate chip cookie. And he, he, cooked, he, he cooked it wrong. Oh. He used a, a wax in it instead of the actual stuff you're supposed to use. Fake chocolate chips? Concentrated now because of that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I tried a bite because I knew I only wanted a bite. That's all I really needed. Uh-huh. And then I gave like the other half of the cookie, I broke it in half and just took a bite. Give the other half of the cookie to Jack. And I turned around to grab some milk. And by the time I turned back around, he had the last of the cookie in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> Jack and his cookies. <laughs> All allegedly, of course. <laughs> so. Nothing to allege. He's just eating a big chocolate chip cookie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. His chocolate allergies kicked in. Gosh, <laughs> gosh, Jack. So. Hard is... <laughs> this is the same thing with the jello shots. <laughs> no, he, he, do, he doesn't know his limits, so he thinks there isn't one. For whatever oh, reason. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if I go past yeah. my limits, they won't affect me. Plus Ultraman. Max, so, did yeah. you did you hear about Jack getting drunk at Gavin's house? Did we ever tell uh, you that? Or was that sometime? Probably. After? I just might not remember because something about jello shots does sound <laughs> really familiar. <laughs> we could rehash it if you want. So so basically well, I thought you were... my story. <laughs> All right, you, tell, you tell it you tell it okay gavin keep going so jack's then next idea before anything kicked in was that we should watch the new it movie for his first time oh, enjoying a my, cookie oh my gosh <laughs> amazing idea which luckily enough we both ate more than we should have <laughs> and Naturally. uh we don't really remember any of the movie we were just uh yes at some point through the, the movie we were dying laughing at nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And then oh one my. of us would giggle, make the other one start laughing again, and we were like almost vomiting from laughing way too hard. Dude, I wish I could have been there to see that. That's and then amazing. my fiance now, who was definitely not oh, cool shit. with this kind of thing. She at all. Like cookies? She's no, like, she like, hates like, cookies. And and all all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just decided to surprise come by and meet Jack. <laughs> so, somehow, we kept it together enough to play some cards with her. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. He was like, pretty he quiet. Really but... card oh, wait, wait, wait was, this, was this her first time meeting Jack? I think it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. So we almost died laughing. We had to act in front of my fiance that we didn't have the cookie she hates, and yeah, it was all around a good time. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs> a classic story of just eating a chocolate chip cookie. Also, yeah. congratulations! I didn't know you were yeah. engaged. Oh yeah, sorry. I didn't. I thought I thought that was knowledge. Yes, go me. I I always f forgot if you were engaged or <laughs> if she was just your. Speaking girlfriend. of engagement, I need a beer. I'll be right back. Oh okay. He's got to celebrate, you know, the... the I think the... Gavin's now officially, like, the farthest along in life of any of us. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I forget when he got I mean, engaged. Romantically. We'll have to ask oh, him when he comes back. guys! The two years, Gavin? Huh? When'd you get engaged again? 
Is it, um, is it two years? Around two years, yeah, I'd say. Maybe. I didn't know you were engaged for that long. I always just thought that you were boyfriend and girlfriend up until. I never made a big deal now. about it. But uh, yeah, she's currently she left me with her family to go to Florida. <laughs> she was <laughs> that sentence continued. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, she left me. <laughs> so I, I took it that she left you with her family, and you decided to just <laughs> ditch them in Florida. That's how I interpreted the sentence. <laughs> yeah, she's in Florida right now for the next couple of days. I can be as loud as I want. Oh, Hooray! Boy. Except oh, yeah. I still have neighbors, but who cares? One of them's Jack, and he's not even here. Yeah, he's yeah, not even that. here. He's in Florida too. You're crazy. What? Oh yeah, <laughs> we should meet up. Yeah, everyone's in Florida these oh, days. Oh, I'm in Florida. Yeah, Gosh, I hate to be in Florida. It's you didn't too know humid. You were in Florida. What? You didn't know you were in Florida. I, I, uh, That's how Florida gets you, man. As you wake up, you're like, I'm in Florida? What the <laughs> fuck? What did you do to these cookies? <laughs> <laughs> how many cookies did I eat? <laughs> Just I lost count. Gosh. Anyway, circling uh, back to the Jello shot incident. Uh, oh, yeah. Another grand story of Jack. Well, uh, well, well, we need to start from the beginning. So... We were at Riley's sister's house, which they <laughs> let us borrow for like our get together. Well, isn't it a townhouse owned by his parents? Correct. Yeah, and my okay. my sisters live there. So yeah. Oh, house. okay. For, for... So it is okay. So it yeah. is kind of your sister's house. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. And, uh, it's yeah, yeah. And Gavin brought um like. <laughs> Brought like a bunch of alcoholic stuff. He brought a yeah. bunch of yellow shit. Can you guys tell who is the best uh, influence here? Oh, Introducing my all my gosh. friends to everything. Yeah, I didn't know my family was... was gonna walk in the the, the second day in or something. <laughs> they they walked in and they, they <laughs> my my littlest sister saw all the alcohol and then later like after our grand party, she's like, so why did you guys have alcohol? <laughs> A bunch of fucking college students. What do you mean? Why did we have alcohol? I'm like, well, we're you know, we're we're in college. And she's like, did you drink the alcohol, Riley? <laughs> I don't think you no. did. Did you? Oh, you did. I had you one did. one shot. Oh, was it one of the bad tasting shots? That oh I yeah, the yeah. It was like the <laughs> yeah. ninety the ninety nine proof banana flavor, like the worst flavor. <laughs> oh. It that was, was it was awful. My parents got me, and I didn't want to drink them, so I brought oh, them to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Guys, Gavin, these suck. You'll hate them. Here yeah, you what, go. Yeah, what happened is Gavin brought a bunch of Jello shots, like I, five I, different ninety nine percent flavor <laughs> things, and some ten dollar cheap ass vodka. I think it was rum specifically, but oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that. it was like a bottle of rum. Clearly, it was a good night. Over. I don't remember. <laughs> it was yeah. a great night. <laughs> it was like at some point we were playing Magic the Gathering because Austin, Austin bought yep. Austin bought like Magic the Gathering cards for everyone, and he yeah. wanted everybody to play Magic. With it's a them. good way to get us to play, I guess. Yeah. So, like, oh. we had a rule where the first person who loses had to take one of those shots. Oh, mm. and gosh. that's where and that's where we got introduced to the banana flavor. I think uh. <laughs> either me or Riley lost that first one mm -hmm. because I remember tasting a little bit of it, and I'm like, nah. I think I was the only person who never took like a full on shot. Yeah, I, I took the full shot and uh, kind of regretted it for out the night because I, I felt like I was going to fall down a lot. <laughs> you had a shot. <laughs> yeah. You could have counteracted it with a second shot. Oh, is yeah. that how you? Oh, that's how. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, I. You, just did that was your mistake. you didn't yeah. know the jack strategy. Was just going <laughs> and then yeah. Oh, oh, we you, haven't even reached that point. You, yet, you, you haven't even. Got <laughs> it. Oh, we have. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, there, so there's so a lot of side stories yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have a few. <laughs> so yeah, go on. Later that night, we we went. <laughs> We played some more magic. Austin lost a few times, so we had to take a few shots. Oh, I think gosh. I think we ran. I think we ran ran out of the ninety nine percent proof. We did stuff. that pretty quick. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like I don't know because Riley and I were playing swords. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, we recorded swords. Did yeah. we? 
No, I thought we. Yeah, we recorded it. I thought we. I thought that was uh, b before, or after, like the next day after, or the. No, no, it was. I'm pretty sure it was while they were. Like, okay, I, I thought it was before I took a shot because I don't remember setting stuff up. <laughs> <to play. laughs> I don't remember setting it up drunks, not drunk, but <laughs> after the shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyways. Placebo Anyways, drunk. Placebo when drunk, Riley yeah. and I decide to join the table, no, we see Austin completely blasted. <laughs> and, and Jack, and, no, and, and Jack, Jack's perfectly fine at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, has, he hasn't had yeah, anything yet. He's yeah. so fine. So, so then Riley and I join the game, and oh we, we all decide to gang up on Jack right away because he hasn't had a shot yet. Actually. Yeah, so mm. so Jack was the first one eliminated, and then we just went back to playing the game. It Jack was so <laughs> bored that he started walking around. Well, he didn't even. <laughs> oh, yeah. He he took a sip of the rum. He's like, ah, oh, gross. This tastes like German. Oh, I two <laughs> bottles of like almost gone wine too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gavin brought a bunch of alcohol. I oh, was. It was, was, everybody did not be thirsty, you know? We okay, had so water. We were, yeah, we were playing Magic for probably an hour oh, gosh. at this point. What's Austin's I catchphrase? Would... I don't know! <laughs> I, I don't know, man! <laughs> oh, man! I'm just yeah, doing things! Yeah. I was somehow miraculously kicking oh. ass. No. Yeah, was Austin somehow. was Austin was Austin making was mistakes for... left and right. He was making so I wonder why. <laughs> He was making so many bad oh. plays, they kept forgetting every play he Like, what are made. my cards? <laughs> well, I gotta read with these, these two real quick. He, oh. he got up. He got up to, uh... He got up to use the bathroom. A cat sat on his chair, and then he sat on the cat because he didn't see it. He didn't even there. notice after sitting down, either. Yeah. You're, you're yeah, missing one idea. step on the bathroom, but he needed a walking stick to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, oh, the cat's litter box is right behind us, <laughs> and the cat took a massive dump in there, and it smelled so bad. And Austin was the only person who didn't smell anything. No, no, eventually he did smell it, and then he kept forgetting that he initially smelled it. He's like, who made, who made that smell? Who smelled it? Eight minutes later, bro, who smelled that? And every time, I, I see every, he had every, amnesia, man. And, yeah, and then every time we brought up the smell, he's like, "What are you guys talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Oh gosh. Anyways, anyways, so so point is, like within that <laughs> maybe hour of oh my gosh. card oh. time. Jack comes back. Jack comes back into the scene. We haven't been paying any attention to him up to this point. Yeah, because we were not even thinking about him. He was walking before. We just blocked him out. And then, oh, he, and then he suddenly comes over with, like, loudly slurred speech. Like, hey, guys, what's up? And we're like, what, what? Why are you like this? And then I hear Gabby like... You drink all of my rum. <laughs> he drank all the rum, all the wine, all of the Jello shots. So in this time frame of us, the cards, <laughs> the fucking maniac. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought it was only the Jello shots. I didn't know it no. was the rum. <laughs> No, it was everything I oh, brought. That's why God. we had to go get more. Yes, oh. and that's when I bought the vodka. I think. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> and God. then and then apparently Jack threw up. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was I was there, I'll tell this portion. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, 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 Evan, you tell that part of the story because I wasn't in the room for that. <laughs> so me, Jack, and Austin hung out in like a room and we just slept in a room. Yeah, the side room. Uh, I had some sort of bed, I don't remember. It was an air mattress. I gave Jack my other air mattress then, because I'm a nice guy, and I think Austin was sleeping on the cot. Yeah, there, there was a cot. Yep. And uh, 
<laughs> Jack's head was right next to Austin's head, but he was, you know, <laughs> raised up by the god. And then, uh, my feet were facing both of them. And throughout the night, I just kept hearing this, like, wet sound. But I, I, I listened, and I just thought, like, oh, Jack's drinking water. He's, he's de- super dehydrated and hung over. I remember he has a water bottle next to him. Oh, last and then I'd hear Jack. it crinkle, so I was like, oh, yeah, definitely just drinking water. <laughs> Okey-dokey. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's what I did. And then we wake up. My air mattress, as far as I remember... Was was it deflated, or was it still up? It might have been deflated, knowing right. your mattresses. It was deflated, and there was <laughs> vomit all <laughs> over <laughs> it and the ground, <laughs> all around Jack. <laughs> oh, did Jack have like a bad hangover and had to like I spend imagine. the entire day sleeping at home? Yeah, so <laughs> so he left like a day early and then came back. No, he, oh. he left the, the middle day and came back for the last day. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. God. Something like that. That's what I miss by <laughs> working three yeah. jobs in college. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I, I almost slept in that room, too, but I decided to bring my cot out to the, to the living room. So I'm kind of glad I did. You decided to watch the bad guys with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watched, like, the beginning of the bad guys and fell asleep and then woke up to... Jack saying, "Yeah, well, I, I gotta. I, I'm gonna head out." <laughs> he didn't even help clean it up. He just left. <laughs> I think he cleaned it up. Um, okay. sure I, actually, maybe he asked for towels. And you know, <laughs> as a great host, I had no clue where the towels were. Uh, so yeah, we had. Well, we were not planning on showering. Stay your sister's band, Jack. Yeah, I was gonna say like at the oh. aftermath, you know. <laughs> Yeah. So, so there's two things. Uh, apparently, Jack is banned from coming back to that house, and Austin, <laughs> Austin is also banned from coming back to the house. Because he sat on the yes, they were. What about the person who supplied them with all the alcohol they drank? How's he? He's fine. They didn't. They didn't get. Oh, cool. You're, you're allowed back. There's no guilt by association. Us, us three didn't cause any. We didn't cause any of the issues. You know. They they were more upset about, uh, I know how to hold about my Austin shit, so, yeah. sitting on the cat. They're like, "What? <laughs> he sat on our cat? Well, he didn't mean to. The cat was there by accident. They the he sat on my away. cat." <laughs> <laughs> and you know the the vomit cleaned up, so I I think Jack yeah. would be allowed to come back. But you know I don't know if Austin's ever allowed to come back because he sat on the he's, cat. He's <laughs> permanent. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was a it was an interesting aftermath of me um, having to having to uh, explain a few things. Uh, gosh, and then it's like, yeah, they, they <laughs> my my sister was just surprised. My little sister that doesn't live there was surprised that we brought alcohol to the place. And I mean, and then my mom's like, well, yeah, they're they're college students. That's you know, yeah, that's what they that was my thought. Like, oh, we're all gonna get together. Bring a few things. To be honest, it was not my thought. I thought we were gonna. Play. I can guarantee nobody's gonna bring anything because I know my friends. I'll just bring a bunch of stuff. <laughs> well, bring it all. Bring it all. I'll bring a variety. Meanwhile, they don't like to drink. They can discover what they I, like to drink. Meanwhile, I brought over gingerbread cookies, which nobody ate, including myself. What? I thought we did. Uh, did we not build a house? We, we we built a house. We didn't eat we the didn't house eat though. Any, uh, we ate we ate parts of the house, oh, okay. but not pretty much most of it. Yeah, but I learned that I do not like the 99 proof shots. I don't okay. think they're meant to be enjoyed they're, if I'm being honest. They yeah. were not good. Aren't they meant to be mixed with other stuff? Uh, yeah. Those are, those are supposed to be mixed? Yeah, mixed with like silly pops like or something. Not most of what you're drinking. Yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be straight. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, well. it's like... Yeah, it's like, good to know now. It's, yeah. like, it's like those. It's like those little squeeze bottles of Mio water. Yeah. Like you aren't you aren't meant to drink that shit on its own. You're meant to mix mm. it up with other stuff. Mio maxing. Yeah. I yeah. See, I, see I watch the weird. Matrix. <laughs> uh, I still remember my first um, quote unquote official drink at a bar. Was was asking oh. for a water, 
uh, at, at, at Gavin's uh, 21st. Yeah, with ice, yeah. At Gavin's 21st, I asked for water. Because uh, yeah. I was thirsty. And and I asked for a Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, was not of age to drink. So and I just had a few water. beers and a couple birthday shots. Yes, and we played billiards, and I tried to explain the mathematics and geometry behind it, and then absolutely failed at that. <laughs> uh, maybe there was less explaining, uh, more being like, yeah, so this angle is definitely going to get in. So maybe maybe it was more of me just overhyping my shots. Yeah, uh, calculated so it out and at this exact action. angle. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I don't remember you looking out your calculus knowledge let me let me pull out my protractor out. guys i got I'm this shot to figure on out, lock. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out and trying to calculate the perfect trigonometry needed to get every single ball into the hole with one single shot you know i'm i'm more of a theorist anyway so <laughs> anyway yeah so math's just a theory <laughs> uh yeah yeah sure yeah Anyways, Max, did you have a great uh, story of maybe your first time drinking the alcohol? Uh, not really, because the only time I've had alcohol is when I turned 21 and I had two rum and cokes, and that's it. Oh. I've never been drunk before. <laughs> You're missing well, out. That makes two of us. I kind of want to do it just for fun. Just <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> to see what it's like, but I've never had more than like two small drinks. To be honest, it was more fun yeah. to watch people be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Gosh. I think it was more fun to be mostly drunk and watch two other <laughs> extremely drunk people. I think that was the most fun. Oh, gosh. Oh. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't say that I, I... Well, I can say that I probably laughed harder because um, I've almost like died laughing multiple times oh, in the God. past. <laughs> Damn. I think the I think the Jack falling out of the chair is probably pretty close. I think that's me <laughs> falling out of the chair. That was when I still no, this, consumed this nicotine. Is, this that is a, there's another there's another instance of yeah, someone falling yeah. out of the chair. And it was yeah. recorded. Yeah. I was telling oh my. I was telling uh, so too, baby. Yeah, I was telling uh Gavin that, you know, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I recorded my friends falling out of a chair, <laughs> I'd have two I had nickels. No idea there was the second <laughs> which instance. is weird, but it's weird that it happened which isn't a law, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Uh, I gotta find the one where, where Max fell out. It's definitely on my. We hard found drive. it. So I'm pretty sure I have it saved to my Google. Drive oh, you've got it too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's when you started oh. complaining about my my awful video storage. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that sounds about right. Oh, he remembers the exact, about storage. He remembers the exact context of that situation. Damn. Well, because because Max keeps bringing it up, he's like, "Oh, so your your OBS recorded is like six gigabytes, isn't it?" <laughs> No, it's okay. What can I say? I'm obsessed with data. Six gigabytes. <laughs> and I figured out I figured out the problem. It's because I added I added your your icon and it took up two extra tracks than I was expecting. Oh. So uh, it took up extra audio tracks, which caused a catastrophic more uh, storage. What can I say? I work in IT. It's it's like an <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder. I hear somebody wasting storage space and it just drives me into a frenzy <laughs> well I'll, I'll try i'll try not to say say too much but it's well, it's good i don't know if this is a storage space itch issue or not but do you have any advice on how i could speed up the performance of my computer so i assume you're running an ssd uh I think so. I... <laughs> the pause. So that's like yeah, man. step one. Okay, um, so I'm probably at step zero. I don't have an SSD. That's have oh a man, when I switched to SSD, SSD, that was so good. Oh, uh, I was so happy. But isn't the SSD is another <clears throat> storage drive, right? It's uh the type, type of, of hard drive, yeah. I had a retrofitted hard drive that wasn't even supposed to be an internal hard drive as my internal hard drive. That fucking sucked for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure 
I have an can SD. You, can you check SSD. SSD on Test Manager, Max? You know? Yeah, it'll say if you go to more details, it'll say what the drive type is. Let me. Oh, so I'll take a look. Let's do, let's do it live. Yeah, let me let me uh, also do it. Let's let's see if I can. Let me pause like the game. I'm definitely not playing in the background. Uh, here. What? So performance details. Oh, performance. I thought you said details. Let's Fun. see. Yeah, it's under performance, and then it'll list your disks. Oh, yeah, I do. Disks. I do have an. I do have an SSD. I have I an HDD have an and an SSD. HDD. Well, which one is your operating system on? And I think it's on the SSD because it says that's what I did. Drive. Yep. That's where your speed is. <laughs> yep. Wow. SSD is super speed drive. It's definitely what it stands for. Uh, <laughs> One point eight terabytes, yeah. baby. Wow, that's more than my hard drive. <laughs> that's your SSD. Yeah. Gosh, I need to get a new computer. I learned. I've learned how long I had the blue computer over the this last weekend. I learned how long I've had it for. So yeah. we got we got that computer in '09. <clears throat> I used it since oh. 2009, and it was probably two or three years old when I got it. And then I used it until 2019. <laughs> when you got my computer. Yeah, then I got Cameron's computer, and now I've had it for five years. So now, if we just exponentially decline, uh, I should get a new computer now. So then it'd be 105, <laughs> and then I'll get a new computer two and a half years later. You want my old computer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a. I'm, I'm going to shell out the money to get a new, brand new, um, good, good, good computer. I just need a new graphics card, and mine is completely upgraded. I need, I need a lot of, of uh, RAM and hard drive See, space. In hindsight, Riley, I really can't ding you too much because <laughs> my main computer, which I still have in a box. Is a early 2008 MacBook. Oh, oh a Mac! All right. Oh, yep. that I only had because my parents were gonna get rid of it because it was so broken. But I tore it open <laughs> and fixed it. Yeah, that was my gaming rig until 2016 when I built my first computer, and then that thing lasted me till like three years ago. Nice. And I only built a new one because I wanted a better graphics card. Other than that, like I was still playing GTA V at like 40 FPS. Yeah. Anyway. It was all I needed. <laughs> Anyways, I have the SSD as my main drive, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, what's, what's step two? Hmm. Well, how is it slow? Like, everything is just yeah, slow? Because it doesn't go fast, idiot. You said you're an IT. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have to wait for it, stupid. You try restarting it. Uh, I mean, sometimes uh, <clears throat> programs will take a moment to load up, like they buffer a bit longer than usual. I'm having a hard time running games, which used to run perfectly fine years ago. Uh, how old is your RAM? I don't what know. What speed is it? Because... Like... If it's old it's and if it's a lower speed, that <laughs> that's what I was like too. How do I check my RAM? Uh, to be honest, I don't. Oh no, yeah, it says in Task Manager too. It'll say the speed. Yeah, but I I'm don't assuming... off the top of my head know what's a good speed, but if it's really old RAM and there's not much of it, that's probably not helping. I don't see no RAM. What are you talking about? It's called memory. Memory, yeah. In that's task your RAM. Manager. Oh, I messed something up. Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dedicated nice, GPU memory. 1.1 out of 8.0 gigabytes. I got a speed of 4. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your graphics card or your... <laughs> my, my, I put yeah, your memory like and it says speed 4. <laughs> what? That's what it says. <laughs> What's the units? 4. Speed. <laughs> Period. Mine's, mine's 1600 megahertz. That's what mine says. Uh, my... Oh, that's pretty good. Mine's twenty six hundred. I have no RAM. I've bought new RAM since. I think you lied to me. The memory one. Ass assuming I'm I click the memory. Other, I'm a. Where's your oh, four I'm at? Quick memory. Right. Uh, if you scroll to the right, it says scroll speed four memory. slots used two form factor D hardware reserve like four memory. megahertz. It just says four. I'm assuming it's My four gigahertz. 
There's no mine, units next to it. Mine says speed 3,000 megahertz. Okay. Gosh, you guys are way faster oh, than I. Oh, there we go. I just need to maximize it. Have? It's 48 um, megahertz, 4,800. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just had to scroll more. Well, I scroll all the way, and it says four, but if I maximize the screen, then I see it. I just have four. Four speed. It just said four. I'm fucking sending you a screenshot. I, I have the speed of four. It's like that kid. It's like, how fast are you? I, speed. I have a... I think I have a max total of 16 gigabytes. Oh, so I got it. All right. I have... And right now, it's currently using 8.9 of that 16. Is that bad? I guess it depends what you're oh, doing. No. Like Photoshop, I know it's a. It's not gonna ram land me, pig bastard. Can't take a screenshot of Task Manager. Well, if I scroll all the way right to show you what I'm talking about, as soon as I hit new, <laughs> it scrolls all the way back to the left. <laughs> I think Gavin needs to use this sniffing tool. That's yeah, what I'm doing. Oh. And as soon as I hit new, Isn't it immediately it... scrolls back to the left. Window, oh yeah, Windows Shift S. Maybe that will work. Windows Shift S. Yeah, that's like the yeah. Windows screenshot. Oh. That's a sniffing tool shortcut. I love it so. Hey, much. that did work. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Oh my gosh, it doesn't say four. That's not me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're right. Yeah. Anyways, that's what my performance is looking right like right now. <clears throat> and imagine oh, Max just trying to get you know the night off, and then you just bombard him with a <laughs> back bunch <to> of work, <laughs> work questions. <laughs> Max, you're an IT guy, right? Tell me how to better perform my PC. Performance. <laughs> Windows four. 11. Ooh. Oh, oh gosh, no wonder. <laughs> I, yeah, that's why it's bad. I, that's yep, that's, oh that's gosh. Windows 11's fault. It's all your fault. 64 gigabytes, man. Yes. That's I got I all new parts not too long ago. Uh, <laughs> I, everything's good in my computer except that, for the graphics. Is that DD4? What? Is it DD4 RAM? Probably. Yeah. Probably. It's already been too long. I don't remember any of it. DD4 has been around for quite a while. Is that Roblox in the background? No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> playing the only up on me. <laughs> oh, take the picture down. Take the... What is that Are saying? you playing? Or, 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 what, what, what'd you type? Oh, that was just on there. Sorry. Gavin, are you playing <laughs> Rainbow Friends over there? <laughs> no. You guys playing Balloon Tower Defense without me? <laughs> <laughs> that came out with a few, with quite a bit of stuff since we last played. <laughs> like, oh, Balloon Tower Defense? Yeah, there's at least two new heroes. Oh, wow. Um, they added new features and stuff they added new maps new okay challenges. i'm not gonna lie in my head every time i've ever <laughs> heard either of you talk about balloons tower defense <laughs> the only thing that i think of is that like balloon popping flash game that we would play oh, in high school okay. <laughs> and so i just think i just imagine that you're sitting there playing like that balloon game <laughs> where, like the balloons follow the path and you have like the monkey or whatever that shoots him yeah that's okay. balloons tower defense that's, oh, that's, that's the original. That's the original one, yeah. Yeah. It's a tower defense game. It's become a lot different, but you know, yeah. I thought you were talking about the core value. I thought you were talking about the the uh, like the side game where the one monkey. Yeah, the one monkey and yeah. you throw the dart at the balloons. Or are you talking about and the, you have to hit a certain amount otherwise yeah, no, you lose. I have no idea. Or there's the top down perspective one where the super monkey blasts and balloons in like a space shooter. Oh heck yeah. That's that one's a pretty good one. But no, we're talking about the sixth, the sixth edition. It is this the sixth. And I need to ch check this. 
Yeah. Are you saying there's something? Yeah, yeah. You're saying Balloons Tower Defense Six is not the sixth rendition of Balloon Tower Defense? I just thought that there were five. I was wrong. All right. What? <laughs> why? Why would they? Why would they do that? Why would they? Why would they go one, two, three, four, five, six? What? What? How? how would, I did it. I which, forgot. Which right. one would they miss? <laughs> I thought that they only went to five. Well, we. we <laughs> Okay, I see, I see. You thought... There's also Tower Balloons Tower Defense five. Battles. Oh, yeah, Battles. That was pretty good. There's Balloons say, Tower Defense Battles 2. Rilo, what are you trying to mansplain about me thinking? Uh, you Were you thinking that the the actual 6th one, you were thinking that was the 5th version? Yes. I thought I thought the actual 6 was 5. Gotcha. Not that there was a game <laughs> skipped entirely. <laughs> That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> they decided to go one, two, four, six, five. You should name their games like computer list indexing. So they start at zero, and then the second game is called one. <laughs> Wasn't that what the Xbox against... did? They have the the Xbox. Three sixty to one. It went from Xbox to Xbox 360 to Xbox One, and I think that's where we're currently at. Aren't we at the Xbox One Series S? I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I they said to start Xbox. naming like Apple. Is that how? Series X Pro Max Plus. <laughs> that soon it's going to be like an Amazon name. It's just like <laughs> Microsoft Plus. A full paragraph just for the one name. Dude, Microsoft is so bad at naming things. They have so like I've been doing trainings at work because we're gonna be moving to cloud because we just have like on premise. It's all just oh old. man, and mm. there's so many. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell this story the other day too. Um, there's so many like names for these random Microsoft products, and like they all have been renamed like four times since they came out. Naturally. I was gonna say, like, uh, I've kind of learned so much of what Microsoft does is just for like court, like money. Giant <laughs> and like, it's what? so obvious how like just soulless they are because there was this one app that the training went over briefly, and or what was it? It was like Microsoft Planner, like one of the scheduling apps, and it talked about like the need for it, and it was like, well, you see, these companies did these studies. And they determined that that um, there was about five minutes at the start of every meeting that staff go to where they're not like doing the meeting stuff. They're just talking. And then oh, they're like, and this, this is what that equates to every year and like lost revenue. So I just imagined some like <laughs> nerd sitting there. And he's like, oh, but, but five minutes, like if we if we were saving the five minutes, like he's, he's there, like, like. <laughs> if we save the five a, a minutes, new... we would lose three employees a year. Yeah, like someone's <laughs> sitting there doing the math and they're, they're like, oh God, like the employees, they spent five minutes. Like they were acting like it was like, you know, three hours of wasted time a day. Just like, <laughs> oh. like five whole minutes at the start of the meeting. It's like, geez, I have some humanity. I feel like you told the story. Maybe I That's... did. It just, it, it really just gets me going. Every time. It just made me so <laughs> yeah. mad. I'm like, how can you be that inhuman? Like, are you real? It's... Are you a real person? It's the same level of corporate greed that just tracks your mouse movements when you're at your computer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, you don't even have anything better to do. Like, jeez. Because then you were talking about, like, uh, Microsoft taking, like, the, the picture stuff, right? Taking a picture every oh, yeah, five recall. seconds. They've canceled that. <laughs> so they they recalled it. <laughs> yeah. The worst part of that is that they're like, oh... Like all of these like serious, like legitimately serious security concerns, and they're like, oh, like we've we've delayed the application to look more deeply into security, blah blah blah, and like all of this, I just I had assumed throughout this whole process <laughs> that this was a feature that was like a year away or like a couple months away. No, 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 Recall was supposed to launch like worldwide next week. Oh god! <laughs> like, like it was like going out the door, and they're like, wait. We should encrypt it, huh? What? <laughs> what do you mean? 
<laughs> Guys, an, an intern made this. Like, they, was there no one in the meeting? Like, <laughs> Guys, do you think this is like security risk? They're like, no, 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 no. It couldn't be. No, no. See, their their problem is they're spending the the whole time on the five minutes at the beginning. You know, yeah. like <laughs> no, guys, if they had gotta... wasted those five minutes, we would have fixed it. <laughs> yeah, and that's why they were trying to implement the five minutes. Yeah. Hey, and I'm sorry, I zoned now. Could you explain to me <laughs> what the issue is? Uh, the issue is the computer basically has a log of every single thing you did or looked at on your computer, and All it's right. just stored in an unencrypted text file. And so if someone gets on your computer, they can just see a history of literally everything you've looked at. So if you had like a password you typed in somewhere or like you, you do online banking, like, <laughs> online banking, there's literally just a plain text file, like your routing number, all of it's in your computer in a text file and you can just go download it. <laughs> no problems like, here. No one, at, no one at Microsoft was like, dang, you think like maybe we should just encrypt it even a little bit? And they're like, nah, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. It's fine. Ah, it's fine. Ah. Just, just ship it. Just ship it. We'll fix it in the patch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Day one uh, patches, man. Day one patch. <laughs> day one patch added basic security. <laughs> it just yeah. day it one shot. patch. It, note uh, the security. Day two patch fix security. It's so funny yeah. to watch. Yeah, I guess. I guess for some reason, I thought you were talking about a coworker who was suggesting a stupid idea. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no, no. But no. by the way, in case you didn't know, Microsoft's the most valuable company on earth right now. Oh, really? And they didn't think to encrypt the, yeah. the entire history of your computer. Yeah, they surpassed um, Apple and Amazon. Crazy. Uh, it's Google. Good job, right? Bill Gates. Oh Google. yeah, Google. Microsoft is the Google. No, no. Google, no. Google. Google is the Google. Alphabet. Who's wait then? Google's Google. Microsoft's different. The, oh, so who owns Google? Just Google. Google yeah. is Google. It's, well, it's Alphabet, technically, is the parent oh. company now. Oh, they're called it used to just Alphabet. Be Google was everything, but it's... Riley, if Microsoft owned Google, they wouldn't hmm. be pushing Edge so much. Oh, Use you're Google. absolutely correct. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> God, if they combined, they'd literally, like, you think we have, like, a duopoly now? Like... <laughs> <laughs> That one company, they'd just they'd be the internet. They'd be everything. Yeah. You just, we'll just have to get a new internet. Well, what internet, internet, we internet two. No, uh, we'd be on like internet four now, right? Aren't we already on internet three? What? Uh, I was paying attention in college. I don't know. I know. <laughs> I know we're past internet two at least. We're either on two, on three, on internet internet one, and internet two. <laughs> I didn't even know there were multiple. Oh, we're going to my the favorite segment. Let's ask the phone. (laughs) Google, Um, what is the difference between Internet One and Internet Two? If you're talking about dial up to not that, I guess. Let's see here. Internet Two is a non-commercial prototype of Internet One. (laughs) Support research universities and agencies at speed of 10 gigabytes per second. Boy, the backbone of Internet 2 is made up of large capacity fiber optics cable. Unlike Internet 1, it has much fewer users and much faster connections. That doesn't tell me what Internet Internet version are we on. (laughs) Here we go. What? The Internet has been Internet. Let's see. As of March 2023, this is AI, by the way. The current version Uh, of the Internet is Web 2.0. Uh, that doesn't really tell me the end. Well, maybe it does. Which is also known as the people-centric web, the wisdom web, and oh the read-write web. Web oh, it's 2.0. Not the wisdom web, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> the web 2.0 is an advanced iteration of the original web 1.0, which was used in the 1990s and early 2000s. Web 3.0 is the next phase of the internet and will be more decentralized, open, and useful. You can also check the version of your internet browser by clicking the three dots or lines in the, the toolbar and selecting settings. From there, you can also see the about to see your browser version. I do like decentralized internet. Sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so my bad. We are on web 2.0. Uh, Doesn't really tell me the internet. <laughs> internet Explorer 11. Yeah, I don't know. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's definitely not it. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I have my facts a little off base, but maybe it's the web 2.0 that I'm thinking about. Okay. 
Wait, what was the original question? <laughs> I'm not even interested anymore. <laughs> Great! I, I did the job that. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> it's my favorite segment. Ask a stupid, co- stupid question for my computer robot to listen to it and give me a response. What's the answer to this question? And then I just read it verbatim without doing any extra research. Have you guys seen the hilarious Google AI results where it's like, how can I keep the cheese from falling off my pizza? And it's like, add some glue. (laughs) (laughs) I have not. Oh, like the the Google search AI has, like it said, someone, what it was, the one who said you should jump off a bridge. Oh my Um, gosh. You just let Google auto finish your whatever. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, there was one that about like the names of something. Don't worry, Max. We'll wait here. Yeah. We'll just be quiet for now. So you got mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Perfect silence. You know it. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> what was that? What? Did you just pick up a hammer and start slamming something at the side there? Goodness gracious. No, I'm just tapping my desk. Oh. As you were then. Yeah. Um, I don't I'm relying really heavily on my phone's ability to search text. Um <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just oh, yeah. scroll quickly and see if I can spot the Google UI out of the corner of my eye in these photos. But okay. Like, I'll just kind of try to remember it off the top of my head as I scroll here. Is like someone asked, you know, which which dates start with like the letter K, and it said no states start with the letter K. Um, the, however, some start. It, it, it like told you that states didn't start with the letter K. Oh, and then it started states. listing off. Yeah, and then it started listing off. I heard off dates. dates. I'm like, what are dates? Mean first, dates? Yeah. Doesn't Kansas start with the letter K? Well, that's the thing. It started listing off states with the letter K, but then it ran out. So then it just started spelling out <laughs> states with the letter K as the first letter, like North Dakota. <laughs> like, I don't think that was one of them, but that's Poor essentially rattle. what it started doing. It's like here's here's states K. that start with the letter K. Come, oh, Massachusetts. Man, <laughs> oh, man. Florida. So man, funny. let me tell you, I love K- Connecticut. K- Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And what? So there's Mississippi is my favorite state. Kentucky, Kansas. There is there another state with K? I feel like there isn't too many states with K. Those are the only two. Wyoming. That I can. Think. Wyoming Why? starts with a K. No, I said Wyoming. Wyoming. Oh, oh, sorry. Have you ever Jeez. heard of Have you ever heard of Contana, Riley? I can't say that I know of that one. Minnesota is where everyone's. Minnesota. <laughs> Texas is where it's at. I, I'm trying to think of how to say Iowa with a K in front of it. I'm like Kawaya, 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 Kawaya. But then you add the I in there. Can't have the I. That's what's tripping me up. Why not? I remember seeing We're replacing the a, first letter with K's. I remember seeing a video of somebody going to like a an American themed restaurant in Japan as like a tourist. <laughs> and it's genius. It, it's it's so it's so funny seeing that because like it's a lot of like a cowboy aesthetic <laughs> that is the classic american dream right there it, it, the it southern brings, draw it, it brings me back to another video i saw where somebody said cowboys are basically our version of the samurai myth <laughs> and i'm like he, you know he's not wrong he isn't it's all wrong. true the best part is there is still cowboys in the <laughs> in the great state and there's still samurai or at least like the practice of yeah. kendo and stuff. You know, not, practice not of samurai. 
Sam- yeah. Samarism. <laughs> yeah, they the, the practice of uh, of uh, the pussy door. Oh gosh, I still find it funny that you know you get a foreigner and you tell them where you live, and they're like, "Oh, so do you have internet?" <laughs> oh, do you do you still write your do buffalo? You, do you have internet? Actually, it doesn't even have to be a foreigner. It could be just somebody from like a different state. He's like, ah. Oh. Here's <laughs> one. I found one. Oh, oh someone said, getting mad, but uh, I someone that. said fruits that end with um. Oh. Um. And it said AI overview. According to Cora, the following fruits end with um: apple um, banana um, <laughs> strawberry um, tomato <laughs> and coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Try fruits that end with each. Yeah, a bleach. Just... A bleach. <laughs> I'll just paste this one. It's pretty comical. Here go. <laughs> AI oh. overview, folks. The oh gosh! What does an astronaut do? Astronauts fuck, smoke, game, re- game, repeat. Need I say more? <laughs> yeah, go work your desk job in the rat race, you fucking loser, <laughs> Lameo. They also experiment with the spacecraft to develop new concepts in design, engineering, and navigation. <laughs> Not that you'd know anything about that. <laughs> you absolute nerd. Yeah, so yeah, you know, that's, AI's that's taken over. Yep, it's here. It's more intelligent than us, finally. <laughs> and you, you just researched it? That's what you, you typed in and that's what you got? <laughs> I didn't type that in, but someone did. Oh, okay. Because people online were, like, clowning on him so hard. They're like, bro, this <laughs> well, is, like... Because Google was making, like, a huge deal. They're like, bro, our new AI is so powerful and awesome. People were like, uh... It sure is, is Google. Google. It sure is. I did see the other one was that someone asked what you can do on the Golden Gate Bridge. And it was like, you can do lots of things on the Golden Gate Bridge. And it like listed off some like touristy things. And then it said, you can also jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, that is something you can do. Yep. Um, not highly suggested. You can do it once. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Again, not highly not suggested. Really successful, but... Yeah, world's most advanced. That's like a couple billion dollars in research, probably right there. And it's just a chat bot. Yep. Oh boy, what does that say about our intelligence? That we think that's like one of the most amazing things ever. You know? Oh my gosh! Can you believe this is this is the robots? They're taking over, and it's just like (laughs) this chat bot. (laughs) It's apple um, (laughs) banana. It's better than clever bots. No, 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 but what's, what does it say about, ah, like, some of some of the human race as a whole here, where, you know, we get the people that's like, holy smokers, man, this is... Right, this right, is right, 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 Riley. Dangerous have, stuff. R- Riley, we've known that humans, <laughs> human race is stupid for a long time, okay? <laughs> okay this fair. doesn't change, this doesn't change anything. Okay, there was literally multiple times in school we were told not to sniff the scented markers okay <laughs> it's not that hard for ai to be they banned the scented markers because someone in eighth grade <laughs> took all sticks of the grape scented markers and started violently humping them in class right in front of the teacher <laughs> so then they took all the scented markers away oh my gosh well why have a scented marker if you're not gonna sniff it it's like, oh, 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 I guess I can't smell the scented marker now, huh? <laughs> oh, gosh. I thought you were going to mention, like, you know, as kids, we were told not to get in a stranger's car. And now we have Uber. Dude, look how and... I turned out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now we've got Uber, where you pay strangers to let them drive you into their car. Hey, stranger, uh... take me on the interstate. Lift, that was the other one I was thinking. There's a lone kid on the sidewalk and a white van pulls up next to him and is like, hey, we got some candy in the back, you want some? Sure. Um, I hope so, uh, bad for you, I hope you know that. 
<laughs> Speaking of um, oh, we got uh, driving people around apps. There's uh, my my friend, a family friend, went to some sort of city, and they had Waymo. Does anybody know what Waymo is? Is that the self driving one? It is. It's oh. the self driving AI, whatever car bullshit that drives you around. And they did it, and it was great. However, uh. they while they were doing it, they had some Taco Bell. Oh, the driver, and, uh, <laughs> the machine had yes. the Taco Bell. <laughs> And they discovered that these cars have fart sensors, and they when they sense a fart, <laughs> no they, way, the spray goes nine cents. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> they thought of everything. I don't know. It was so funny. We're here. The future's here, everybody. Now that's now that's the future. That's the AI we need to be worried about. Masking oh, yeah. sense. I thought that was. Amazing. Yeah, isn't most of the self driving cars like in California? Yeah, it's because you can't have roads like here that are falling apart. Ah, you can't have car looks at it and the car's like, Yeah, I'm out. (laughs) Car looks at it like, where's the road? (laughs) I mean, you know, you you can kind of like see there used to be a line here and that bump there, that's kind of like marks (laughs) the edge of the road. There were some potholes in town here that were so big. Like, I think actually, if you. How big was it? Fall into them. (laughs) You could just fall into the pothole? The pothole was like the size of a tire. Like, it's not something. Like, like I'm saying, I'm saying it's it's not like it was like, you know, just a little bump. It's not a a pothole anymore. The, The reason they get the name pothole is because you can fit a pot inside of the hole. No, no, no. This was like. I don't even know. Like this is a walk hole. Beach ball hole. Like, <laughs> ball hole. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know why that got me so much. <laughs> we had a pretty hole. bad one uh, right next to B Dubs up here. It was like it was just massive, like a full size beach ball, like you're saying. Yeah, I hit it one time when I didn't realize it was there yet, and like <laughs> I like was like squirreling all over the road oh I, hit, I hit it so hard that i like <laughs> the, the back end of the truck is so light that oh, it like yeah. bounced into the air <laughs> i was like oh my god so you were a bicycle for a moment <laughs> yeah <laughs> because it's like that on the the gravel road here the, there's so many trees and when it rains it just potholes the crap out of it and like going around oh, the yeah. corners on the gravel road I, I basically drift around them because the back end is bouncing so much that it's not even on the ground anymore. There's one thing to say about Ugh. gravel roads is when they decide to finally, you know, you get the, the machine to, to not straighten it, but, you, you know, kind of like flatten. Yeah, it's something like that. For yeah. some reason, I think the machine, like those those people that are driving the machines, they're, they give no, no, uh, no problems with uh, this road. They're like, oh, you know what? Let's leave this giant mound in like, the the where the shoulder would be you know oh, they yeah. decide to move it yeah. over like a foot so you're now like okay great now this is a one way you're like oh <laughs> car please please, please so car don't don't come and then it's a semi like oh gosh we're gonna have to deal with this <laughs> tiny mountain it's stuck because it just oh. hits the 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 undercarriage of your car <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> Uh, I still will never forget the time I had a lake in my driveway. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Is that the... Walking out to check it out, and there's a carp swimming by. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Was this yeah. the, uh, the, 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 the mile-long driveway? You know it. Oh. The end of it washed out for like a solid seven feet. And then, um, Gosh. yeah, at the very other end, it was just like i don't know two three foot water and we saw a carp swimming in it <laughs> i don't know uh, you know that road that ran by the high school kind of one of the main ones that you get out onto to leave uh yeah there's two it was oh man. <laughs> if you were like looking at the front doors of the high school it was the one off to the left off the... okay that Wait a second. Kind of connected to the main parking lot. I but thought I knew what you're talking about. Uh, just keep another, going on. 
Yeah, one of my older brother's friends, he one time drove, I think, 60 miles an hour through there. Oh my gosh, in a school and zone? Proce- and then proceeded to hit, because that road Did. is one that hit like one of the really bad like dips that was at every single intersection. Ah, uh, um, yeah. And he then proceeded to hit that at 60 miles an hour. Ah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he broke his car. <laughs> Well, you know, the dips are there specifically designed so that you don't speed through a school zone. Yeah, oh, no, that, that was just like the... Just the road. Road design, I don't think. <laughs> oh, oh. Like Sorry. They, they, I don't know if they changed it. Then, they didn't fix no... it because it's a school zone. They're like, ah, this yeah, will help them go slower. It was an accidental feature. Like, that's a genius. I, I just remembered that randomly. Oh, yeah. Just like the time I almost hit Austin's dad. Jeez! Oh, it's like the first time I ever saw Austin dead, and it was me almost hitting him <laughs> in the school parking lot. Because <laughs> I was so impatient trying to make a left. What a great first impression! And he was warned me and gave me the finger, which I don't blame him because I literally just about ran into his car. <laughs> Holy was gosh. it was it Austin's dad who I raced in a car? I Coming back from the movie theaters? I hope so. I don't recall. Uh, I was in my parents' car because I like just learned how to drive and didn't have a vehicle. <laughs> and I was like, hello, you're right next to me. You want to go fast? And then he started going fast. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> that does I didn't like... expect this to become the thing. Uh, I could see Austin's dad doing that. <laughs> I was like, vroom, vroom. And he was like, vroom, vroom. And I was like, um... We're I doing don't know it what to do now. This wasn't in the, the driving <laughs> instructions. I think I get this far. And then we had like a mini mile race to the next stoplight. Did you win? No, I was too scared. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't full send. No, I didn't. I wasn't. I, I didn't know what was going on. But the second time. Oh, my dear mommy is calling. Oh boy. Does that mean we should start wrapping it up here? But I got such cool stories to tell. Okay, you you tell the stories and uh, we'll we'll wait for Max to come back to end it. Alright. So, uh, I need to get get my storytelling thoughts recollected here. (laughs) Uh, Boom, baby. And he's back. Alright. What a great story. (laughs) This is an emotional story about Max having to solve an annoying customer's IT problems. Oh, Max had always been the go-to guy for IT support in his small family-owned computer repair shop. He loved his work. But Uh, some days tested his patience (laughs) more than others. One particularly hot summer afternoon, Max is already frazzled from a string of complex repairs when the bell above the shop door jingled. In walked Mrs. Jenkins, a regular customer (laughs) known for her attention to detail and her knack for finding the smallest IT issues. Max dear, I'm having trouble with my email again, Mrs. Jenkins announced, her voice tinged with frustration. Max smiled warmly, though inwardly he sighed. Helping Mrs. Jenkins was always a challenge. She often overlooked simple solutions in favor of the more elaborate fixes. Hmm. Of course, Mrs. Jenkins. Let's take a look. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to ask Max, can you do that sigh? Can can... Is this AI generated? By the way? It definitely sounds, sounds AI generated. generated. Yeah, it's AI generated. I, I AI generated a story about each of you. Oh, okay. All right. So, as they sat down at a cluttered workstation, Max patiently listened to Mrs. Jenkins describe the problem in her in her meticulous way. <clears throat> her emails weren't sending, and she couldn't figure out why. Oh gosh! Max the usual suspects: internet connection email settings but everything seemed fine I'm gonna <laughs> could, wipe you your computer. Show, could you show me exactly what happens <laughs> when you're trying to send an email <laughs> max, <laughs> asked, <laughs> max asked kindly mrs <laughs> eagerly complied 
typing out a test email. Max watched as she clicked send, only to see a familiar error message pop up on the screen. He frowned, trying to pinpoint the issue. Hmm. After a few more minutes of troubleshooting, Max noticed something small. A misspelled email address in Mrs. Jenkins' contacts. Her email was bouncing back because it couldn't find the recipient. Oh, With a man. gentle smile, Max pointed out the mistake. Oh, my goodness! Mrs. Jenkins exclaimed, <laughs> blushing slightly. How did I miss that? Yeah, it's too bad. It's too bad. Yeah, it's the best of us, Max reassured her. Feeling a surge of relief as <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins re entered the correct address and successfully sent the email. Fine, as out. Mrs. Jenkins thanked him profusely she, and left the shop, Max leaned back in his chair, reflecting on the encounter. Despite the frustration and the heat, he realized how much he valued those moments. Okay. Helping customers. <laughs> <laughs> Helping customers like Mrs. Jenkins <laughs> navigate their technological issues, no matter how trivial they seemed. And then and that he... small, quiet shop filled with the hum of computers and the occasional ring of the phone, Max found fulfillment in his work. It wasn't just about fixing machines, it was about connecting with people, <laughs> offering <laughs> patience and understanding in a world that often seemed too fast-paced and impersonal. And as he prepared for the next customer, Max knew that he would face more challenges, more frustrations, but also more <laughs> opportunities to make a difference, one IT problem at a time. Yeah. Well, uh, that AI has never done IT support. I, I was really expecting uh, the Mrs. Jenkins to walk back in and saying, "My my email to to get the the uh, million dollars uh, didn't didn't turn out. The person the person took all my money." I, I thought there was gonna be a plot twist like that. But they just did the generic. But the 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 lesson we learned is the friends we made along the journey, the connections we make. The that's biggest lie is feeling fulfilled. It's like the common <laughs> thing that no one in IT feels fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. You're just Max, fixing broken stuff all the time. Well, I'm getting yelled the, at. Want to tell yeah. me what the real Mrs. Jenkins is like? <laughs> uh, the real Mrs. Jenkins is just very confused, and you try and tell them what's wrong, and what? they're just going to stare at you like you're insane. My windows? Do you, as an IT person, treat everybody like a Mrs. Jenkins? Because I've called tech support a number of times and i feel like they're just so used to talking to absolute <laughs> idiots like i do like seven common steps to fix it myself and then i call and then i have to do the same exact seven steps <laughs> a third time because sir like, well, have you done it sir why don't you sir, try doing it again you you, you, it you obviously myself. you obviously didn't try to restart your computer let me do it let Don't me it do it no, me, the people I work with are pretty good about that. It's no. that's you a lot worse if you're like a big company. Yeah, because because you work yeah. with yeah. like your your internal company, right? Yeah, I do like yeah. internal the internal stuff. Is oh, I feel oh a god, lot I, 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 I think I might actually like go be homeless drug addict if I had to do like that's large it. generic company. Like Amazon Just or work the so, phones all god. day. Oh gosh, that would no. be. Awful. This next story is a heart-wrenching tale about Riley having to solve a math issue in the quiet town of Rilla Willowbrook. Nestled among rolling hills and whispering pines lived Riley, a young soul with an insatiable curiosity and oh, a you tender know heart. Riley's days were filled with wonder and exploration, but mm. there was one challenge that always loomed over Riley's spirit like a dark I'm confused. Cloud. Which Riley are we talking about? Yeah, here? yeah. I was thinking, like, what? what's the question? Am I like, how am I supposed to be exploring when I'm an introvert? Um... <laughs> We're talking about you, Riley. Oh, okay. This is a story about you. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. But there was one challenge that always loomed over Riley's spirit like a dark cloud. Mathematics. <laughs> Mathematics, with its intricate formulas and unforgiving rules, seemed to dance just out of just <laughs> out of Riley's grasp. I mean, in a way, they're pretty absolute. 
Yeah, they're <laughs> pretty unforgiving, I think. Yeah, they're, 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 absolute. they're not unforgiving. Despite countless hours spent... You do it a little wrong, you get it wrong. What the fuck you mean they're not unforgiving? You do it right! Just do it right the first time! Uh, yes, you have to do it completely right the whole time or you get it wrong! That's un- <laughs> that is unforgiving! Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, it's a little unforgiving. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Despite Ugh. countless hours spent poring over textbooks and seeking guidance from patient tutors, Riley struggled to understand <laughs> his complexities. One crisp autumn afternoon, Ooh. a letter arrived bearing news that would forever alter Riley's fate. It was an invitation to participate in the prestigious Math Olympiad. Oh, an gosh. opportunity <laughs> that stirred both excitement and trepidation Ever in Riley's heart. Ever do something like heart. that, Riley? Oh, you know I have. All right. <laughs> I joined the eighth grade math counts team and then didn't make the cut. I, I feel like I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think I made the cut. I don't remember going. I'm going to have to interrupt this story. The bathroom is absolutely beckoning me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to call it a night, everybody. All okay, right. Max. We'll, we'll give you the recap in the, the yeah, chat. Yeah, we'll recap next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Enjoy With your riveting uh, <laughs> AI tales. The, the AI tales. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Bye, yeah. Max. Bye. With determination burning brightly, Riley embarked on a journey of intense preparation, fueled by hopes of overcoming the daunting challenge that had so often eluded them. Mm. Weeks turned into months as Riley immersed themselves in the world of numbers, equations, and logic puzzles. Sleepless nights were spent scribbling solutions and unraveling mysteries that seemed as elusive as shadows in the moonlight. The support of friends and family buoyed Riley's spirit, <laughs> <laughs> offering encouragement and solace during the moments of doubt. Finally, the day of the Math Olympiad arrived, casting a nervous hush over the crowded auditorium. Riley took their place among the contenders, Heart pounding with a mixture of anticipation and fear. <gasps> As a clock ticked away, problems unfolded like intricate tapestries of thought, each requiring careful calculation and strategic thinking. With trembling hands and a furrowed brow, Riley tackled each problem with fervor, with fervor drawing upon every ounce of knowledge and intuition. Mm -hmm. Yet, the final minutes dwindled down, the sinking realization washed over Riley like icy water. Despite their best efforts, the solutions remained just out of reach, slipping through the fingers like grains of sand. Time stood still as the results were announced, the air thick with tension and hope. Riley's name was called, but not among the victors. Tears welled up in Riley's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, my. oh my gosh! <laughs> what a plot twist! It wasn't just about the competition. It was about the dreams dashed and the dreams absolutely destroyed. Of understanding that seemed destined to elude them. Oh, gosh. In the quiet solitude of the evening, Riley found solace beneath the starlit sky. The twinkling constellation seemed to whisper words of comfort, reminding Riley of the courage and resilience that defined their journey. For in the realm of mathematics, as in life itself, fa failure was not a conclusion, but a stepping stone among the, along the path to wisdom and growth. And so, Riley returned to Willowbrook with a, he with a heart heavy yet unbowed, their spirit oh. enriched by the bittersweet lessons of perseverance and humility. What the crud is this? For sometimes, the greatest victories are not found in triumph. <laughs> <laughs> but in the quiet strength to rise again, to face the unknown with renewed courage, and to embrace the beauty of a journey where every stumble is a testament to the depths of one's passion and the resilience of the human spirit. Man, Riley, I did not know that the Math Olympiad was that hard on you. Ah, it was very brutal. You know, I was just trying to think back to other math competitions that I've done, and it, the la that story kind of reminds me of the last one I did in, in college. The I, I did what's called the Putnam, which is a very hard math exam, and, you know, I didn't really study for it, so that's kind of off. Uh, 
but yeah it's it's basically 10 very hard questions and uh you get like was it six hours to do six questions <laughs> maybe it's six hours to do 10 questions but yeah it was it was it was a struggle and i i got one basically correct so i got nine points out of 120 i mean maybe there's 12 questions there's 12 questions. <laughs> <laughs> but getting one question right is is an accomplishment in itself, as as my professor was telling me. He's like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm like, well, you know, I tried my best. My best was getting a nine. And that's but in you, my name. Well, you may remember there's one more story to be told. Oh, my gosh. This is a high stakes story about Gavin and his three month old expired milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a grand story. Gavin was not the luckiest of men. His life was a series of near misses, <laughs> bad Christ. decisions. And... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> absolutely ab wrong. I'm absolutely obliterated in the first <laughs> sentence, Gavin. His life was a series of near misses, bad decisions, and improbable outcomes. But nothing could prepare him for the day he discovered the <laughs> three-month-old expired milk jug <laughs> in the back of his refrigerator. Nothing could prepare him. It started innocently enough. enough. Gavin, a freelance programmer by trade, had been working on a crucial project for, de for demanding client. His apartment, typically clean, a cluttered haven of takeout containers and <laughs> unlocked <laughs> lottery had fallen into a state of disarray during the intense coding sessions. Classic programming. As he, as he scoured his kitchen for sustenance one faithful afternoon, he stumbled upon the forgotten jug of milk buried behind half empty condiment bottles. We caught in liquid. <laughs> Now, most people would simply discard such an item without a second thought, but for Gavin, who was always just one step away from disaster, this was an opportunity. You see, Gavin had been struggling to make ends meet. His client had delayed payments, <laughs> bills were oh piling up, and his landlord had threatened eviction just that morning. Wow. In a moment of desperation, Gavin had a wild idea. What if he could turn the spoiled milk into something valuable? I could turn perhaps, it to gold. Perhaps he can concoct a revolutionary probiotic drink or sell it as artisanal cheese to unsuspecting foodies. He'd heard stories of people making fortunes from far more dubious beginnings. With renewed determination, Gavin set to work. His research fermentation techniques, scoured ancient recipes, and Evans consulted with a dubious online forum dedicated to experimental dairy products. Days turned into nights as he toiled over his project, fueled by the hope of a financial windfall. Finally, after weeks of trial and error, Gavin unveiled his creation to the world, or at least to the few brave souls willing to taste his dubious dairy experiment. He marketed as Gavin's Miracle Milk. A <laughs> <laughs> Promising health benefits oh that range from oh. promising health benefits that range from enhanced digestion to internal youth, or at least a youthful complexion. Against all odds, the product gained traction. It started with a few curious consumers willing to try anything once, then spread like like wildfire across social media. Influencers raved about its unique tanginess and Oh, my. <laughs> it purported health benefits. Orders poured in faster than Gavin could fulfill them. But as success seemed within his grasp, disaster struck. Reports began trickling in of customers experiencing unexpected side effects, stomach cramps, my mysterious rashes, and even a case of temporary blue skin sent shockwaves oh to the customer base. The media caught wind of the scandal, <laughs> labeling Ga Gavin's elixir as the latest health fad turned cautionary tale. Amidst the chaos, health inspectors paid Gavin a visit. They oh, confiscated no. samples for testing, revealing alarming levels of bacteria and toxins. The expired milk, it turned out, 
was not meant for human consumption, <laughs> even in the most optimistic of entrepreneurial endeavors. Is this just the pink sauce story? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> in the end, Gavin faced lawsuits, hefty fines, and the ire of an internet mob scorned by his tainted elixir. His dreams of financial salvation evaporated overnight leaving him worse off than before. The expired milk jug, once a beacon of hope, became a symbol of his folly, a cautionary tale whispered in entrepreneurial circles for years to come. And so, the legend of Gavin in his three-month-old expired milk jug lives on, a stark reminder of <laughs> stark reminder that not every risky venture ends in success. Some, quite spectacularly, End in curdled catastrophe. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. Let's let's circle back. Mystery milk. That was the name. Uh, he. It was called. Uh, yeah. You know, let me find it. Uh, because Gavin's mystery milk does not sound like something you said people should be drinking. It was. It was technically this, but it's his last name, so I just use his first name. It's oh. Gavin Miracle Milk Elixir. Is what it's called. That's not even how you spell his last name. <laughs> close, close enough. enough. Close enough. Miracle milk. Just for some reason, I heard miracle milk, and then I thought of salty surprise, and it was <laughs> not a very good combo. Oh no, not salty surprise. <laughs> we all have a past. But yeah, that's a great, great AI stories, and I think that's a grand. Grand stopping point for this podcast from drunken yeah. stories to AI stories. And, and it all started with weed milk. And it all started with the, the milk and ends on milk because all milk. Yeah. But yeah. What should our next topic be for next time? I don't know, man. All I can think about is my roof, and it didn't rain today, and I was going to fix it, but now I can't because it's not going to rain anymore, and I'm upset. So... Talk about roofs? Roofs? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, great. Roofs next time, Gavin. I'm sure that won't be a touchy subject. I mean, if... The, the weather says it's supposed to rain all week. Yeah. It also said it was supposed to rain all day today, but it didn't do that. Oh, it rained here. Ah, cool. it, rained, it rained here. That doesn't help <laughs> me. It rained in the morning, but I can't get in my attic in the morning when I'm trying to go to work. But it was supposed to rain for the rest of the day, too. And then it just stopped and didn't start again. Well, next time, right. Roofs. Thanks, everybody, for listening to the podcast. Right. And until next time, everybody's goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>